This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. This is part two of the video on spectral enhancement of Landsat 8 imagery. In this video, we cover vegetation indices. Vegetation indices are another form of spectral enhancement. We discussed three here, near infrared divided by red, the square root of near infrared divided by red, and NDVI. Near infrared divided by red was already calculated in the last video, the five divided by four ratio. So let's begin with the square root of near infrared divided by red. Since we already have NIR divided by R, all we need to do is run a tool that calculates the square root. Let's use raster functions arithmetic and select square root. Choose one of the five divided by four ratio images and don't forget to name the new layer under general tab. Remember that if you want a permanent file, use a geoprocessing tool from Analysis Tools. Now what exactly does this index show? Zoom in on the mountain area around Carvin's Cove and compare the image to just the B4 divided by B5 ratio. Adding the square root function makes the image a little brighter and provides a sharper distinction between features. A third method to calculate complex equations in one step uses the raster calculator. Go to the Analysis tab, Tools, and search for the raster calculator. Be sure you choose the Spatial Analyst tool. Enter the square root of the floated band 5 divided by the floated band 4. and click Run. There is no difference between the two methods except for the number of steps. Also keep in mind, again, the image generated using the raster calculator is permanent and available for use in other map projects. Let's move on to NDVI, or Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. This is a very important vegetative index and the most commonly one used. Healthy green leaves have a higher reflectivity in the near infrared band while stressed, dry, or diseased vegetation display lower levels of reflectivity. NDVI can therefore be a useful indicator of vegetation stress. It's a more complex calculation. The formula for NDVI is near infrared minus red divided by near infrared plus red. Or for Landsat 8, that would be B5 minus B4 divided by B5 plus B4. Let's do this using the raster calculator. We'll select the bands and operators. Typing can introduce errors. So type an open paren, select band 5 from the list, double click it, select the minus sign, select band 4 from the list, then type a closing parenthesis. Select the division sign, then type another open parenthesis. Select band 5, the plus sign, band 4, and type the last closing parenthesis. Be sure to check your work and click Run. The NDVI result gives pixel values from minus 1 to plus 1. The closer to plus 1, the brighter the pixel. Higher values are associated with more vigorous or healthier vegetation. 
Well, it turns out there's an easier and much simpler way to generate an NDBI image in ArcGIS Pro. Turn on the original subsetted composite image. Select it and the Imagery tab. Click the down arrow on the Indices button. A list of a number of common indices are present, including NDBI. Go ahead and select NDBI. Enter the appropriate band number for near-infrared and red. For our 11-band composite Landsat 8 image, recall near-infrared is band 5 and red is band 4. Then select OK. And there is yet another option to generate NDBI, raster functions. There's one additional method, NDBI colorized and raster functions, but we do not recommend it. Then change the symbology on any of our NDVI images by going to Symbology. Make sure Stretched has been selected, and under Stretched, select Yellow-Green Continuous. This symbology reflects what the human eye and brain would discern as healthy to vegetation, the darkest green. Within the last three chapters, we demonstrated the image enhancement processes. These processes are not only helpful for image analysis, but also for completing additional processing such as image classifications discussed in chapters 21 through 24. The next chapter of this book, Chapter 20, Change Detection, will require downloading of two additional Landsat 8 scenes, so be prepared to review and utilize skills acquired in Chapters 11, 13, and 15.